بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونستهديه ونستغفره ونصلي ونسلم على سيدنا وحبيبنا ومعلمنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم Dear my brothers and sisters Today I will talk about a topic that we always listen it or read it or watch it or even sometimes we suffer it that will call it inflation. What is the inflation? The inflation by simple meaning, it's increasing of the prices. Increasing of the general prices of the most of goods. We have something, we call it the price index. We try to measure the prices, sometimes monthly, sometimes weekly. We try to measure what happened for the prices. If the meat prices increased, if the milk prices increased, if your ticket, if your bus tickets increased, if your tuition increased, if your mortgage increased, if your housing prices increased, if your electricity bill increased, all of this what we call it inflation, the increasing of the prices. The increasing of the prices, unfortunately, it has a lot of bad side effects. But the people, the, at the age of the of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asked him, would you please make the prices level, fix it? They asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to reduce the prices. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah Azza wa Jal make the prices level. And you should try to do your part to be in very good manner with dealing with the economy. That's what we are suffering right now. When the prices increased, this meaning is going to affect in our economy, especially for the people who their income are fixed, who their salary are fixed, like the people who are working in government or the people in retire, they take in a small portion as a wages or as salaries, or as a pension, they take the pension for, the, for their monthly payment, for sure, they're going to suffer because the prices are very high. But for the business people, like doctor, physicians, lawyers, engineers, carpenter, for any jobs, they don't have a contract, for sure, they may increase their fare. If you take a cab, if you take a taxi cab, and they will ask you, please pay more, two dollars more, five dollars more. You told him why? He said, the prices are very high. I cannot cover it. But you, as you employ in government, or you are in a retired situation, you have to suffer. That's what we are suffering when we have the inflation. Some government try to, to, to determine, try to limit from the inflation. And they have a lot of policies to try to limit the inflation. But when you try to limit the inflation, I may reduce our expenditure. The government try to reduce its expenditure and ask the people, please don't spend more money because we are suffering from the crisis of the inflation. But is this a good solution to ask me not to spend, to keep your money? If I keeping my money, I will lose. Therefore, I advise you, you can keep your wealth in different assets. If you can for sure buy a gold or buy hard currency or you can even starting a business and it's just to keep it as a deposit. If you keep it as a deposit while we are in inflation, you will suffer. For sure you will lose. I don't want you to lose. I want you to get some benefits from the ideas that we are, that we are talking about right now. Don't 
you don't keep your money just as a cash. If you are in inflation, try to invest it and to try to use it to have a very good way of investment. Therefore, we should try to keep it in a very good asset, a very good reward asset to give you a good earned income in upcoming future to support our family to have a very good family. Inshallah, Jazakumullah khairan. And I really thank so much for following. Thank you for supporting Huda TV. And thank you so much for following. And I would be more than happy if you have any question, just to send it or follow us in our Facebook. Jazakumullah khairan and thanks so much.